Alright, what's going on guys? Drew here from TechCubed, and in this video, we're going to be going over the basics and some of the more common uses for auto hockey. So in my last video, I showed what I personally use auto hockey for, the way I edit my gaming mouse for productivity in my laptop. So what I'm going to do now is basically go over the basics, how to start a file, how to edit it, and I do some of the more basic features and kind of go more in depth of what I showed last time. So the first thing you want to do is go to any finder window uh, where you have files, First thing you want to do is go to any finder window, and then you're going to right click, and you're going to go to new. And under new, you're going to see many options, and assuming you have auto hockey downloaded correctly, you're going to have an auto hockey script button. So you click that, and now you can name whatever you want, just test script for me, and enter. Then once you name it, in order to open it, you can't double click it like you normally think for other files. What you got to do is right click it, and then find edit script. Once you do that, it's going to open it up. It opened up on my other monitor, sorry, right down here. And it's got a little bit of test code in it. Uh, I don't think it does anything, you just delete it all. So the first thing that we could do is actually jump in and do kind of a simple command where when you write some text, it's gonna replace it with another. So uh, what we're gonna do, this looks a little bit different than the code from my other video, but it's fairly basic. All you do is put in a colon and then a star and another colon. And now here's actually where the, the key goes. So let's say every time we type the letter U, it's going to type Y-O-U. So it's like a texting format. So what actually is going on here is when the user types U, it's going to replace it with U. So anything on the left side here, when we click that, it's going to place it on the right side of these two colons. Now the, the relevance of this part is that it means once we type U, there's no need for an extra key to be pushed. It's just going to do it right away no matter what. So we can actually save this, Control S or File Save, and we want to run this. And the way to run it is going back to our window here and double clicking on your script. So instead of double clicking to open, it double clicks to run and you right click to edit. Okay? And you'll see here a little hotkey shows up. So now hopefully, if we go back anywhere typing or here, if you type the letter U, it's going to fix it with U. So you won't even see my U, it's just going to replace it with Y-O-U. So that's that. You can do this with any type of key that you want. And you can do this with multiple. So let's say Y-O-U, you want to make it U. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Oh, and actually, I can't type that. You want to make it U. You can save this, Control-S, go and run it again. It's going to ask you if you want to replace it. Just say yes, no big deal. And we could go back, and if you type Y-O-U, all of a sudden it replaces it to you. So Y-O-U, that's what's going to happen. All right, so the next feature that we can use is clicking buttons. So in the last video, I talked about the mouse a lot, uh, so I'll just review that real quick. So let's say we want to replace one of our extra buttons on a gaming mouse, either the button 4 or button 5, as we call here, X button 1 and X button 2, and we want it to click the left button or the right button. Uh, it's no big deal. All you do is type X button 1 or 2 if you'd like, no different. And then you do two colons again, meaning anything on the left of the colon is what it's waiting for, and anything on the right of the colon is what it's going to do. So we could have to type something, for instance, hello or hi. So what you do is type send after a space, and now anything you want it to type, so hello. So save that, and go and run it. And now you can see when we run this, by clicking that button, it's going to do hello each time. So that's pretty cool. But there's many other things we could do. For instance, what I personally do, let's say when you click it, is the Windows key. So we could keep send up there. And now in curly braces, type win. Uh, since there's two Windows keys on some laptops, uh, some computers, uh, I wanted to specify left Windows, because uh, that's all mine actually has. And then when you run that, you can see when I click it, it goes to the start screen. So that's it for that. Um, now there's many other options here, for instance, uh, I got a comment once about how to, when this button is pushed, how to use the left click. So to do that, you would do click, comma, left. Okay, you could save that, run it, and now what you'll see is whenever I click this button, it changes the windows. That's basically the best way to show. I'm, I promise I'm not hitting uh, the left click mouse. It's from here. So the only issue with this is that it's not going to press and hold like you'd imagine with the normal left click. So you can't do this dragging feature. It's only going to click. And there you go. That's how that works. So one last thing I'd like to say 
is how I personally use AutoHotKey. Rather than using this file folder where I'd have to open it up every time and double click in order to open it up. So anytime you start the computer, it's going to restart AutoHotKey and it's not going to auto run it. So what I do, rather than opening up this folder here, I actually put it on my desktop. So if you see right here, I have main settings right here. Uh, and when I double click that, it's going to run it. And that's all the files that I like on a daily basis. So I'd highly recommend that you drag your test script to the desktop so you can use it there anytime your computer starts. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Any other questions you have, check down below. If you haven't seen my previous video, please check that out. And I'd be more than happy to take suggestions for future auto hockey videos. Um, and if you'd like to learn Android, I got videos about those or Blender animation. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.